The telecoms industry in the Horn of Africa is going through some dramatic changes. Hormuz Telecom has decided to invest in 4G coverage throughout Somalia. The country currently has 2G coverage in most areas. 4G provides faster speeds and higher quality connections to the internet. It leads to lower costs of voice and data services. It also enables users to access more innovations such as IP telephony, gaming services, high definition mobile TV, video conferencing, 3D television, cloud computing. Hormuz is stressed that 4G will guarantee users mobile money services even in rural areas. The company was awarded the country's first mobile money license on March 27. Hormuz is the nation's largest commercial operation. Its competitors include Golis Telecom, Telesom, Somnet, Somtel, Somlink and Nationlink. Hormuz hasn't been looking to expand outside of Somalia. While Kenya's dominant telecom company, Safaricom, has been awarded a license to operate in Ethiopia. It will be the first private firm to offer such services in the country. One more license is supposed to be issued this year. Ethio Telecom, the national carrier, is currently looking to sell a 40% stake. Vodacom is one of the rumored partners being considered. The government has previously shut down cell phone and internet services during crises. It remains to be seen whether this will prevent Addis Ababa from doing so in the future. Djibouti this week announced that its state-owned telecom monopoly, Djibouti Telecom, will also sell a stake. Business analysts have reported discussions to sell as much as 49% to an international partner. While the sale has been in the rumor mill for a while, the nation's president, Omar Gale, confirmed the move, saying it would accelerate the pace of reforms of its public sector companies to better cope with international and regional competition and to ensure that these companies participate fully in the national effort of emergence and development financing. Djibouti has expanded its ICT infrastructure significantly, now hosting 12 high-capacity undersea cables. It is expected to allow potential investors in their telecoms company to expand into mobile money and run data centers. Ethiopia will allow Safaricom and the other telecom entry to come to provide mobile money services as well. But restrictions on them will favor Ethio Telecom. ADN TV will continue to report on business and tech developments in the Horn of Africa.